Uber Eats in Asia and China. That's basically what it is. It's it's growing faster than Uber. Um, yeah, anytime you get an analyst calling stocks, multi-billion dollar market cap stocks growing in an economy that's larger than ours or growth rate is, um, uninvestable, that's a buy signal. That's what that is. Those stocks were crushed today after being already slaughtered. So they're down another seven to nine percent, the three that I just bought today. Now, I'm not sure I'll catch the bottom here, but you have to make a fundamental decision. What's, what's been against China, the headwinds for Chinese stocks, all of them, is the ADR structure. To, to understand that basically the law has been changed on them, they've got basically 24 months to get their audit act in order or they're going to get delisted stateside. Now, even if that were to happen, which I think it's not going to happen, they're going to fix this before that does, it doesn't stop the growth rate of these companies. There's, yes, a lot of people in China. So if you're trying to figure out how do I invest in an economy that is probably going to be the world's largest economy in X number of years. We, look, I know we're competing with them, but that doesn't mean I don't invest in it because I can't get growth like that. And these are the big names there that already have the distribution systems in place. So I'm sort of indexing it that way. Now, you have to hold your nose on vol. You can't put the full position on here because today you may want to start thinking about the three-day trading rule. To get Alibaba, to get Baba down 7% in one hour, that's hard to do. That's a very large market cap stock. So thank you, analyst guy. I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, they're still going to grow. And that's why I bought them. What a nightmare it has been for these Chinese stocks. If you got in last year or even during IPO, you have not made any money. The people that have bought today or Friday, they're okay. Kevin O'Leary is a billionaire. If he loses on Alibaba or these Chinese stocks, he'll still have money left over. But us regular investors, if this stock continues to go down, it will just hurt us even more. So that's why we always have to be cautious when we're catching these falling knives.